BTS, EXO, Seventeen, all very prominent and influential boy bands that are absolutely dominating the hearts of mentally inept, immature young women, as well as the timelines of sensible, reasonable people on Twitter, the latter a direct result of the former. Despite their aggressive fan bases amounting to an incredible threat, the truth is that these bands, and all boy bands as a whole, pale, don't even come close to the incredible trio, the big three, the boys who cry. <laughs> Boys Who Cry is in fact better than every K-pop band in existence. Yes, you heard me right. I am sacrificing myself to the obsessive, toxicity-fueled, hormonal, and horny K-pop stands to say what needs to be said. I don't expect to be able to use my Twitter account after this video goes up, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It doesn't really matter. Nobody follows it. Please follow it. Anyways, acknowledging my guaranteed demise, let us proceed. Boys Who Cry, what puts them on a pedestal of perfection? eyeing over this entire genre of Korean pop music. Well, I suppose we can start with the quality of the lyrics. I won't be playing any actual audio, trying to keep some sort of monetary gain off this video, because I ain't so sure that YouTube bots are programmed to understand the concept of fair use. But let's start with a popular song from BTS, shall we? Their song, Fake Love. Surely if it has an English title, I should be able to decipher it, right? Wrong. I don't speak Korean, I don't even know where to start! Yeah. Well, thanks to modern technology, I now have some insight. For you, I could pretend to be happy, even if I am sad. For you, I could pretend to be strong, even if it hurts. Well, stick a nuclear reactor up my ass and call me toxic, that's gotta be some of the edgiest edgelord type stuff I've ever read. Boys who cry. I know I can count on them for some of the highest quality songwriting in the world. The only single they've ever released, It's All About You. It's all about you, girl. On your 16th birthday. Pay attention to you, girl. Everyone has to do just what you say. You get your best. features eight lines of absolute perfection, directing their attention towards a young lady by the name of Pearl, that she's the star of the show on her Sweet Sixteen. It's not an exaggeration to say that I have tears running down my face at this very moment from the sheer beauty and talent that I just indulged into. But moving away from talent, there's barely any of that in today's youth, so they probably wouldn't care for that. How about looks? Attractiveness, so to speak. Well, it's without a doubt in my mind that the boys who cry don't slip and die here. Have a look at these K-pop bands, and now have a look at boys who cry. What sets them apart? I'll tell you now. It's the clear and concise fact that they aren't wearing any pants. The plain and simple truth is there. Up on stage as they perform, their fish sticks make themselves presentable, skyrocketing past these other boy bands in sheer charisma and beauty. Now what if it is, in fact, your 16th birthday, and on your special day you want a boy band to treat you all night? In terms of finances, it's said that it actually costs around 2 million dollars to hire BTS, and that's just the rumored cost, it could be much higher. If that number doesn't have you wetting your pants in fear of financial disintegration, they also only perform at places that interest them, and that could spiral into who knows what. Boys Who Cry on the other hand, $1 million flat fee to perform wherever, whenever, according to none other than our homeboy squiddy tentacle porn over here. They charge a million dollars just to show up! If you want them to lip sync, it'll run into real money. Half the price, one trillion times a more lively experience. They even turn themselves into tornadoes, bro, like, how the hell? Attention! All Boys Who Cry concerts have been cancelled until further notice due to the coronavirus. It seems that this is my calling. This is my opportunity to show tribute to Boys Who Cry, the greatest boy band in not only Bikini Bottom, but the entire universe. I hope you like this one. Enjoy.
Oh, by the way, before you go, I finally dropped merch, teespring.com slash stores slash flowmotionyt. I did make all of the designs myself, so if you like what you see, be sure to check it out. Okay, see ya.